coming this fall to NBC. During the summer months, more families will be taking advantage of outdoor grilling and dining, but according to the USDA, foodborne illnesses are more prevalent when it is hot outside. Here to help us keep our food safe is Bahar Tekteshian. Uh, she's a senior health editor at Shape Magazine. Nice Hi, to see you. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Great Thank to you be here. Thank you for using me on the cover. Of oh, course. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, Talk to us about the beginning. You gotta you gotta start off clean. Clean kind of. Yes, yes. You do because foodborne illnesses are so common in the summer. In fact, one out of six Americans will get a foodborne illness oh. every single year, okay. and they're not fun. You know the symptoms: diarrhea, vomiting, ooh, ooh. fever, all bad okay. stuff. Yeah. So you want to make sure it's easy to avoid a lot of them. Isn't exactly. It? And we're gonna give you those tips. Okay. First tip. Keep your hands clean. Yep. So you want to use antibacterial wipes. Mm -hmm. We have hand sanitizers. They come in foam. They come in pumps. Yeah, and sprays. And we, we've all seen them, so there's no no excuse right, not right. to use. Right, But them. there's a great alternative. It's called Camp Soap, What's and this, this is this? wonderful. You just put it on your hand. You want to do this for 20 seconds. That's enough to get rid of those germs. You can buy this in those outdoor stores. It's, like a it's wonderful. Make sure you clean Gave your hands. Gave me a lot, Hoda. Do you need water? Before <laughs> you actually cook, yeah. You need <laughs> you water. Great, great. This is good. Here. No, you're not going to like that thing. No, but that's just that's for services. Anyway. anyway. Okay, so, then. so it, it's important to keep your drinks and food separate in coolers. Absolutely. <laughs> we have two coolers. Coolers are very, very important, especially for your meat. You want to yeah. make sure it's at 40 degrees Fahrenheit for all of your meat. And you want to keep the drinks separate because a lot of people like to open the cooler up and continue drinking, getting their beers, yeah. getting their juices. Let me ask you this. Okay. You've got, you've got, a, t you've got a thing full of food yeah. and you go on a picnic and you leave it there and the kids play and da da da. How long do you think you can leave food in that cooler before it gets um, rank? Rank. <laughs> well, if it's nice and cold and if it has the ice, Probably an hour or two is That's great. Okay. Well, you just want to be, you want to practice safety. And you want to okay. make sure that practice if you safe. have, picnic. Yes, if you have <laughs> anything with mayo, like a fruit salad, with a potato yeah, salad or chicken mayonnaise. salad, Separate it. you got to put that in there as soon as possible. But even if this is covered up, I wouldn't keep that in the sun, right? Never keep it in the sun. Yeah. Always mm -hmm. keep this in the shade. Yes, Hody. Exactly. And we <laughs> also have some great packaged food. We've got tuna, we've got carrots, snap peas. Just because you're having a picnic okay. doesn't mean you can't have packaged Packaged food. These are all healthy. You can put these in a sandwich. It's not going to be soggy. You can toss it on your salad. It's going to be delicious. Take no us down here for last food. minute or less. And this is cross contamination. Make sure you have a separate cutting board for your fish, for your meat. Very, How very important. How many of you, be honest, actually do? No, I don't. No, I only have one cutting board in my apartment. Except for Tammy, who has <laughs> eight cutting boards, <laughs> one for chicken, one for fish, one for okay. her husband, one for yeah, Ashley. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> and also, the temperature okay. of your chicken, right. it's so important to use a thermometer. Yeah. This is, you just put this in here in the center. That's the thickest okay. part. The Nobody chicken, else does that. Nobody. I'm telling you right Tammy now. You need to try 165 degrees. We'll keep your chicken safe. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We really much. appreciate it. Thanks for coming. That, no, that, uh, nobody's going to follow. <laughs> All right. Anyway, tonight, watch Leno <laughs> next Monday from Harry Potter. We're going to have Rupert Grant. Really Grant's. good advice. We'll see y'all. Have a great nice weekend. Talking to bye, you. bye bye. Go to Montreal. The marriage ref is back. And we think it's been worth